it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper, and it is just a crafter noon. That's what we're going to be doing. So I just grabbed some stuff. I just wanted to play a little bit, and I thought I'd share with you. I don't know exactly where we're going, how many DIYs we'll do, but I did want to um, use my hot glue gun. And one of you beauties, Susan, thank you, uh, sent me these little fingertips so that I don't uh, burn myself. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. It comes with four fingertips. And then I opened it, and look at this. There's one for your little finger. Like, every one of them has three different ones. So, like, if you need one for your thumb or this finger, which I use all the time. This is usually the one I burn. Or even your little pinky there. So, I've got those, and I'm super excited about that. So I've got my one for this little finger. That's the one I always burn. So let's see if I don't burn myself today. So I don't want to. All right. This is a past DIY, you guys. And this is what I do after <laughs> the cameras are done. And I look at it and I thought, man, this is a really cute DIY. Um, but if you recall, I had like a flower stuck in here. And I thought it was really cute. And then I said, you know what? I think I want to wrap um, the nautical rope all the way around it. I said, I think that is what I would rather have. And then if I want the flowers, I could put the flowers in here or a candle or um, the lights that I had. I had those fairy lights. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know this is good, just really quick and easy. Um, you guys all know how to do this. You take some hot glue and you rope it around, but I'm still going to share that with you just so we could have a little bit of talk time. And I just thought it was really cool. And I think this is gonna be a really fast uh, one as well. But I wanted you to see the difference and let me know if you think this made much of a difference because I believe it's going to. And I'm definitely not worried about getting glue here, there, and everywhere. And of course I don't have my little finger on because I almost burnt myself with that little glue that fell. And then we're just gonna move it all the way around. And there is some glue that we've got. And I'm going to, oh, that glue is going all over the place. And I'm gonna just put some glue heading right down there. And then just quickly, while that glue is hot, just start winding this around, making sure that it's nice and tight and getting there in that glue. Look at that, fingertips. And I think we're probably using a lot of the rope, but I think it's gonna be worth it. I saw something on, um, what is it called? Oh, that chipping, uh, the gains thing. And they had something very similar. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I saw this and it looked like a little kind of birds or not like a beehive. And so I said, that looks pretty nifty. I think I want to do the same thing. So I think it's already looking pretty good. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. We're going to wrap this again. And I'm trying to keep it kind of nice and tight. We're going to use that whole entire piece of glue or piece of nautical rope for sure. So, if you have any trouble like I'm having right now, 
Don't be afraid to put some glue on there. Because that's what's going to keep everything in place. Ah, I like it. I think we're going to have... Ooh, I thought I burnt myself. I didn't. And I'm not afraid because I've got these nice little rubber fingers to hold everything down. And I'm going to go around... like almost perfect because we don't want to make it higher than the glass yep we're gonna be just right on there okay now that was just another little redo and I wanted to share with you because I want to share that just because you finish with a DIY does not mean that you may be finished with it. See there? I like it. I think that is really, really cute and it, I think it gives it more of a, a shabby chic farmhouse look. So that's done. I'm glad I did that. I was going to do it off camera but thought it would be fun to share with you guys. These are really quick and easy. I'm just uh, having some friends over and want to kind of have some Valentine's-y stuff out. And I'm just enjoying making little gifts and whatnot. So I grabbed this guy at the dollar spot in Target. Only a dollar. So cute. And then I got this little guy. This is really... You guys don't need to be watching this. I'm just doing it because I like to... Um, hang out and craft with you guys. That's really it. So Stanley's guarding. It's Friday night. So people are kind of out and about, but look how perfectly this fits in there. And you can push it down and you can't even see like past there. So I'm going to just start taking these little roses and I got uh, red and pink. And I'm just going to take them off and start sticking them in there. Like literally sticking them in there. And I'll put them at kind of an angle. And I think we're just going to go kind of all the way around. And I think it will be super cute. We're going to do this kind of outside first and I'm just going to go back and forth pink red pink red and then you might need to um, do some hot glue if you're having some issues we'll see if this one falls back out or not if it does we're going hot glue And it could be uh, you could cut it if you don't want to just to grab them and use that so if you could see I'm just kind of sticking them in there and then we'll stick one more pink in there That one's I stuck in the petal. And like I said, if you find, like, if you have little ones who like to play with all this stuff, you may want to hot glue it in. So, so far we've got that cute little thing, but I wanted to put 
a little bit more height on it. And so on these, we're just gonna cut the, uh, you see I got these big, huge scissors. Uh, we're gonna just cut and add some height. There we go. So I'm still, I mean, they've cut pretty well, but still having a little bit of issues there. And then I'm gonna grab some of the pink ones that I have left. And then you can decide if you would like to have any greenery in there. Because we haven't put any green at all. So I'm going to find another spot there and go a little higher. And again, a little higher here. And we're just making a cute little, it's not really a topiary, but it's just a cute little uh, bed of roses, I guess. There we go. And then one last one, if I could find a nice spot there. And I think we need one more red rose in here. I already had the red one cut. I just didn't have it in there. Kind of running out of a spot to put it I keep sticking it in the leaves and like I said you might want to uh, use a little bit of hot glue there so we've got a nice little bundle of uh, roses in there and then again if you wanted to, to use some of the greenery depending on if you like it or not you could put that in there as well I just want it to be all roses, pink and red, and super cute. So I think this one needs to be glued in there because I keep, oh wait, there we go. I'm trying to feel my way around. <laughs> oh, there we go. So I'll be able to put him out. And then the next one I have is these hearts. You guys know I am just obsessed with these hearts right now. So I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to cut the back of this off. Well, actually, I'm going to pull it and see if I could just pull it out to keep the length. Yep. So I've got that. So now we've got this again, and then I've got a diamond wrap adhesive. And I really hope this one works out. I see it in my head. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that it works out. Now this is, like I said, it is a wrap. So. I'm going to take this all the way to the edge. Like that. And then I'm gonna kinda cut
and I'm gonna cut a little bit shorter than I need because I have these guys that I wanna put on there as well. So I'm not gonna be real worried if it doesn't come out perfectly, but I do want it to get all covered. So once we get that, I'm just cutting off what I don't need. And these are really heavy duty. You guys told me, get those heavy duty <laughs> scissors. These are heavy duty scissors. They're cutting through um, the plastic. They're cutting through the um, everything. It's just cutting through everything there. go lining that up and flipping it back over and then again just cutting Once we get that on there, we can take this backing off because it is all sticky. So I'm, I'm getting excited. I'm going to line up this guy right here. Okay, again, I'm not worried about that because we're going to use the um, little, whatever they're called. And then I'm gonna take this part and I'm gonna line that up. Well, I was going to, but I want the I want these to line up more importantly. So I'm going to take that. Yeah. And then we're going to take this and cut that. So this is more than gonna cover what we need, I believe. Let me just take this off. So since we're just chit-chatting here while we're doing our crafting, I have to tell you, I love my nails and especially love them for Super Bowl, but now Super Bowl's over <laughs> and they last so long, so I still have football nails and I want to change them out, but they're still on there so good. Look at, can you see them? They're just on there so good. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to waste it, but I think I'm going to be wearing Super Bowl nails for the next couple weeks. So. Okay, I think this one will do it. And we were able to cover the whole thing. Like that. Flip it over and around and back up. All right. So this is probably the easy part because I want to do a different part and I'll show you. Coming up, coming up. So now we have this 
Glam Gem Heart. And we're going to get these guys. I have one that's already cut. And we'll start out right here. And I'm just gonna hot glue around the edge, but I wanna make sure I leave uh, enough that the hot glue doesn't dry right away. Okay, where's my fingers? I'm already noticing I'm using my fingers and I do not want to get burnt. So let me know you guys what you are doing this weekend. So I love to keep up and I love to see your crafts and hear everything that you guys are doing. So I'm gonna put this around, again, the outside. But I don't wanna to go too far, because I don't want the glue to dry. Oh, see, that is super cute. I think what I need to do is put that on my thumb because I seem to be using my thumb a lot more. And then I'm gonna use this one here. And they stretch. There we go. I'm super excited about these, can you tell? And then I want to do the corner all in one motion as well. That's why I did it like that. So this is what we're getting so far. And I hope you guys get some little bit of inspiration and come up with these different types of... Uh, decorations if you do I would love to see them I know I love when you guys send me pictures on Instagram and uh, messenger I don't get on messenger too much um, and I don't get notifications either, but when I do get on, I enjoy seeing what you guys have put for me. that's covering it up rather well so you can't really see it too bad oh look that would have hot glued me right there so thank you I went to the post office and this was in my mailbox and I was like hmm I wonder who sent this to me it didn't have 
it was ordered from Amazon right to my P.O. box. So after a little deducing, I found out who it was. It was one of my good friends and one of you beauties. And that just worked out perfect. You only need one there. There we go. So, I mean, you could just hang that as is if you wanted to, right? So, let's put a little hanger. I'm just gonna use this little extra piece here. some hot glue right there. I'm going to put enough and then I'm going to stick this little guy right on there. And I'm going to hold it there just for a moment while it cools. And then I one, two, three. So I'm gonna go one, two, three up on this side as well. And do the same thing. Let me see. One, two, three, two, three, there we go. that flat I really like working with these little fingers because now it seems like I'm not so afraid of burning myself so we have that little hanger there and that is going to dry and I want to make sure because that needs to really hold on because it is going to be holding some weight and I'll probably put a, in fact, I'm gonna put a dab right there and onto the wood, um, but I'll probably put a back hanger as well. So we're gonna set this off to the side to dry. Cool, sorry. I'll just put that off. And then, this is what I got. Remember the little Christmas tree? that I used on my wreath. Well, I've turned that wreath into a Valentine's. And so now I'm gonna use this truck and he was carrying this tree, but now he's gonna be carrying some hearts. So I'm gonna get that glue off that was gluing that tree down. And look at that little truck. And then these little hearts, oh my goodness. So, I'm gonna, I guess I don't need these right this minute. But I will again shortly. I haven't even tested these, I got too excited. All right, I'm gonna go get batteries and test them and I'll be right back. All right, good thing I didn't like just run away real quick, I was, which I was contemplating doing, but uh, rather do this because I had to then go and grab these little guys to take out that. And, but the good thing is it works. Super cute. Okay, so let's see if my plan is working. This guy has been nice and cool. So you could just have that right there. You could put a word on there if you'd like. But how super cute is that? What's this? Oh, just a little piece of bling. Super cute. Okay. Or you could put, look. You could put like a rose. Oh my goodness, look at. 
You just put a couple of roses right across there. How pretty is that? If this little doesn't work out, we're putting roses across that thing. So what I wanna do, is I wanna turn this in a way that I could reach. Right? Like that, maybe, no. I'm gonna put it in the back. And then I'll be able to reach, and that'll look like a tailgate. That's what we want. So we're gonna do something like that. And then I'm gonna keep all of these guys kinda of hung over like that, and we're just gonna start gluing this because he's gonna be carrying a big bunch of hearts. So we're gonna put a few. This could get a little hairy. Do another one right here. I don't know if you could see that, but let me move it over just a little bit. There we go. And then I'm gonna bring it around and have them hanging like this together on the edge. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hot glue myself on these. And this is gonna be a huge truck of lights. So let me just show you. Those are three so far. And those are three that are going the right way. So make sure those are facing the right way because the other ones, they are not gonna be all facing the right way. We're gonna kinda hide them. going here, there, and everywhere. And we're just gonna start kind of hot gluing them into a big pile. Like he's carrying a huge truckload of hearts. Sorry if you can't see that that well. I think I need to put a little bit more on here. There we go. So see how we're building up those hearts like that? Then some of these hearts are going to hide all of the, the wiring as well. Like that one. We're just building it up. That one needs to dry a little bit longer. And I'm just leaving them all attached like this because we are going to put them down with some of these coming up like this. There we go. And this, once you're done, you're not gonna be able to salvage these lights. It's just gonna be the way it is. This is a huge thing of hearts that he's carrying.
Sorry, sorry, sorry if you can't see that. We're going to put another one right here. Again, hiding some of the wires. If you can see that. And then going to have to wait for this all to dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to attach this guy down here. So we're going to put some hot glue right here. And again, this is probably only going to be good for the season, but I did put the backing here in case we need to change out the batteries. So we've got that all hot glued on there. See that little car? Now we've got to hot glue all of these little boogers down because we're gonna bring this around and give him that there. Okay, so we've got those lights like that, but we still have some of these little guys that are still showing. So I'm gonna hot glue what I can down. that down there for just a moment see that so we still have some uh, hearts that need to be glowed but if you remember Dollar Tree sells those little hearts like this and we're just going to start piling those little guys on here to cover up that uh, any of these gems, or any of these wires. So we're just gonna put a little bit there, stick it on the wire, kind of dangle them this way and that way, hiding any wires that we can. And it's gonna be a huge truck of love Yep. Sorry if I'm blocking. And then I'm gonna put one more. Look at that huge load of truck there. Now we're gonna take this guy, get him back on there, we'll turn him on. Look at that. And then we're gonna put this on here. And like I said, you are most likely only going to get this through the season. You'll be able to turn it on and off. That won't be the problem at all. But um, 
you're not going to really be able to take this off after we get it all glued on there. And I'm putting a good amount of glue because I do want this to stay on there nice. So oh, there we go, look at that little guy. I bet it's gonna be super cute. And let's see if that hangs. That's not dry yet. We're gonna wait on that one. We're gonna let that dry. And you guys, do I have time for more? I don't know. My last thing, I'm gonna do it. Might as well do it with you guys, right? And I just want this little light to be nice and festive. And I have this burlap that I wanted to use. It's really a pretty pink burlap. And this, you guys, I've done stuff like this really easy. That's why I'm putting it all together so you guys could see all the different DIYs. And if you know me, you know I'm gonna leave that uh, on there to help me. I'm just gonna wrap it right around there. And then, I get my little guy. And we are going to, let me see where this goes. Okay, we're gonna put it right along here. And get some of that on there. I should have had the second one on, but I can play with this, so I definitely like it. There we go. Did not burn my finger so good, or so, so much there. And then I'm going to take some of these little flowers, and they're just daisies. Super cute daisies. And... I have four of those little daisies. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut the backs down so that they're flat. And then we're gonna take the glue and we're literally going to just hot glue these on. And I, since we have four, I'm going to put one on each corner. So we've got that, and then I'll do the exact opposite. In the middle. And then that glue, that glue is going to go through there too and hold it all nice on there to the candle. And then we've got our final one right here. We've got that down there. I've gone through the glue today. So I'm gonna take these little guys, and I'm gonna take four of them, and I am going to now put some hot glue in the daisy and then take this little guy and stick it in there. Look how cute that is. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to each daisy. Super quick, super easy. Instantly turns it into a lovely little Valentine. If you're gonna make like dinner, um, you know, for your love, how cute would that be to be sitting on the table? and just get rid of that little yellow. I mean, the daisies are pretty, and you could have it if you wanted it for spring. You could just do a regular burlap and kind of have a little bit of a farmhouse if you wanted to. 
but I wanted to do Valentine's. I'm always the last minute Valentine's person too. So, but look at how cute that is. Super, super adorable. All right, so we've got this little guy. I think it turned out rather nice with um, the bottom like that. We've got our little candle. Oh, I need to change the battery on it though. Or did I not pull out the plastic? I always forget to pull out the plastic. But we've got that little candle. We've got this little guy, super cute. And then, I think this is my favorite piece. And we've got this little guy. Super, super cute. And let's see, it's holding. I was a little bit afraid. So I will take some pictures. This is, You can't get the full gist of it because it's not uh, dark enough. But I'll take pictures in the dark so you can see it. If you guys like this, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of my crafting. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!